you doing? It's Rich from Lower West Side Studio. And uh, I was asked a question uh, that turned into a patch that turned into a larger patch, which is often the way with modulars. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the question I was asked, and then I'll show you what happened. Um, basically, the question was about the uh, Music from Outer Space 16-step sequencer. Um, the sequencer was a fantastic little sequencer. It does some really neat things. One of the things uh, it does is it takes in an external clock. Uh, however, if uh, many, if any of you have this, you may have seen that the clock input uh, it requires is exceptionally strong. Uh, I believe it's in the neighborhood of 10 volts uh, or more um, to actually get this guy clicking around the track. So. Um, we talked about uh, what we can use to boost uh, a signal uh, to a sufficient degree to to make the uh, the sequencer sequence. And what came up was an awesome module that everybody should have at least one of, and that is Synthesizers.com Q125 Signal Processor. So let me uh, take you into the patch here uh, a little bit. Um, I started by thinking, okay, well, you know, uh, I set up a little patch uh, on the MFOS and I'll run it here for you. So that's basically... Okay, let's turn it down a little bit. That's the MFOS running its internal clock. Uh, it's uh, going into an Oakley VCO. Uh, from there it's... Uh, it's heading into uh, an Oakley discrete ladder filter, one of my favorite filters, and a bunch of other stuff is happening. We're taking some control voltages off of some envelope generators, uh, Postman EG and uh, uh, an Oakley uh, ADSR VCA, which is another great module. Uh, so is the Postman, mind you. Um, and uh, we're using the internal clock to give us this great little step sequence. A lot of fun. Then we took uh, another synthesizers.com module, uh, the Q960, and I started uh, using a, an Oakley uh, dual LFO. I ran a pulse signal out of it into a uh, Catgirl CGS36 pulse divider with Boolean logic. And so I took the signal out of the, the, uh, the divide by two coming, so we're taking our, our LFO pulses, we're dividing them by two, and then we're running that into the Q960, and as you see, if you can see both at the same time, they're jiving together, and you're getting this really cool. And the, uh, the output of that is running into, oops, here we go, is running into a synthesizers.com Q106 uh, oscillator, um, we're taking the wave out of that. We're going into another fun filter, an Oakley Journeyman. Uh, very cool. And uh, great. We've got, our, we've got our sequence. But then we're stuck here. We've got this guy out in limbo. And we want him to join the party. But we can't. So I'll show you why. If we take, let's say we want him to trigger every sixth pulse of the clock. Take the clock in, immediately the sequencer stops because it's waiting for a clock in. But we see here that it, it's getting a clock in, but the sequencer is sitting still. And we are sad. And if we've just built this thing, we wonder what the heck's gone wrong with the clock in circuit? What could we have done wrong? Here's the problem. We're not getting enough voltage out of here in order to trigger the clock in. So we use our magic Q125 utility module awesomeness and what we do is we'll start at zero, okay? This can increase or decrease your gain by 200 percent, okay? Giving you a very wide sweep. It can do some very very cool things but we're not going to talk about any of those today or even the, uh, the lower section. We are simply going to go in to the input out of the output we're going from our clock source, which is the division by the pulse divider, and you'll see we're not stepping. So, now, I will slowly turn the gain control up, 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 
and we have clock. So as you can see, we're at about plus 150, okay? We can crank it all the way if you want. I'm not sure if there's any benefit to that. Um, and now we can turn on that sequence. Okay, and with our first sequence, few envelopes triggering a couple of the control voltages on the filters for a little bit of fun. The uh, whole thing is running through an Oakley Classic VCA which has two channels which you can mix on the fly. You can tell that we are destined to be hearing this on the radio and in dance clubs all the time. Thank you for watching. My name's Rich. This is Lower West Side Studio and uh, keep on modulating.